Hello my mermaids and welcome back to the channel. I'm so excited to have you back. Once again, I'm so excited to be back. I have so much that I need to update you all on, but it's not going to be in this video. It will be in probably the next couple of videos. I'm going to be kicking out a lot of videos this month. I'm so excited to be back. Again, we're going to talk about it over some champagne, some wine, maybe even some Hennessy, girl. But um, <laughs> today, I'm showing you guys how to get these juicy, gorgeous, yummy, 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 yummy coil curls using one. Uh, and the other product is in the bathroom. I'm showing that in the bathroom. So we're using the Kelly Logan. She sent me these beauty props she sent me these hair products it's a black owned business and you guys i'm obsessed like she just sent it to me just to test it out and you guys i'm pretty much almost done and i will be purchasing more i'm gonna leave all her information down below she has edge, edge controls she has gel but the gel that i use for to achieve this look is the eco styler gel um the max hold you guys will see that in the video um a brush a rat tail comb and that's pretty much it now i did explain in the video that it does dry clear so it is still kind of wet so it still um, might have a little bit of white residue but it'll be once the hair dries it's going to be completely clear i hope you guys enjoyed today's video um this is how i style and do my baby hairs and style my I don't even really call it a teeny weeny afro i mean it is a small cut because it's growing back from being bald but um i don't wear it in the afro so i don't know i guess twa uh i don't know shortcut whatever you want to call it um it has not been cut this is how it looks in the back so this is just my hair growing back um, it actually is a lot longer than it looks once it's blown out, but I never wear it blown out. I always keep it curly. Um, this is it, it growing back from when I cut it bald back in October. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. My sweet mermaids, I love you so much. I missed you so much. And I will see you tomorrow for another video. Bye. Mwah. My shirt is wet because my hair is wet and we're about to do my hair. So you guys, my hair is growing back from permanent, well, okay. So my edges are a little bit thin right now. My edges are gonna always be thin because I have permanent damage on my edges because when I was 17, someone gave me a perm and completely burned my edges severely. So um, they're always gonna be a little bit thinner on the sides. Um, but I actually put a wig on and it just kind of made it worse. So they're actually growing back a little bit better right now. So this is my hair. It's really, really wet. It's very damp. And, um, yeah. So what we're going to be using is her name is Kelly Logan. She sent me some products and I am obsessed with her products. She is black owned and I love her hair. She's her hair um, butters and everything that she offers. She has this that I'm using conditioning curl cream. She has edge control. She has gel. And she sent me this a few months ago when I first started the channel when my hair was uh, shorter and I had cut it the first time. She sent me these and I've been using these like crazy. So I'm going to leave her information down below. So what we're going to be using today is her curling cream, conditioning cr curl cream. And you guys, I have used, like, it's almost gone. I need to get more of it. Like, it's pretty much gone. Almost. And then I'm going to be using the Eco Styling Gel. This is the Ultra Hold. This is the Argan Oil. Alcohol free. Um, this is the Max Hold because I want my hair to last all day. And this little... Uh, brush also edge brush this came from logan as well kelly logan and i'm gonna get a brush and another comb and i'm gonna show you guys how i style my little td td i don't even really call it an afro because i don't even let it go into an afro i keep it curly all the time so i'm gonna show you guys how i style it how i do my edges and how i pretty much maneuver and manipulate my edges the way i want to in the back of my hair as well so i mean if 
out that much. And I'm going to get that on my hair. Make sure you get it all the way in there. Make sure you get every piece of your hair. So I take about two of those and I make sure that I get the back. And once I know that my hair, and the good thing about this is it doesn't go white. It doesn't stay white. It does dry your normal hair color, but you got to work this stuff in there. So what I do is I start rubbing my hair in circles. I rub it in circles, rub it in circles, rub it in circles. And I go in the same direction if it's going in this way. So I take it. And I take this side and I rub it in circles, rub it in circles in the back, making sure that it's being rubbed in circles in the same direction. Rub it in circles. I like to rub it in circles because this is going to get that curl, that ridiculous curl that you're going to get. It's going to be crazy. Well, my hair, I have like four, four, four B. I have like 4A, 4B hair, I think. Um, my hair is curly, naturally curly. But when I do this, it makes it like extremely curly. So I'm just, I rub this in here. And I don't stop until I feel like it's, it's the way I want it. And the thing about it is you have to get a product that doesn't have like any alcohol and stuff in it and like natural hair products because you can put as much of it as you want in there so that's what i do i like to put a lot in there because i want that product to be in that hair and saturated in the hair and i do it in the back and circle 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 because what you're doing is while you're taking it in circles you're curling your hair you're curling it and you're putting little coils in your hair and then I just start working my fingers around the edges and pulling it down because this will determine how I want to style it I just start taking my fingers and rubbing my edges and bringing it down I love baby hair as you guys should know by now that I love baby hair so I just start working with my baby hairs and bringing these hairs down and the same thing in the back and I start manipulating the front how I want it and then I'm going to go back again and rub it in circles again circles circle 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 Keep going in circles and make sure you get enough product in areas where your hair is thicker. You want that product in, the, in your hair very well. This is the way the back is looking and it's coming together already. It's so pretty. It looks like baby hair. Like how, you know how baby's hair is so curly and pretty. That's how it looks. It reminds me of a baby. I love her products. Like, I thank her so much for sending me this stuff because it really works. Okay. So, you can either leave it like this or if you want this to last a few days. Like, I'm talking, you can have this last for like a week. Um, if you want it to last a week, I would add the gel to it. Or if you just, this is temporary for you, you can leave it like this and just put gel around your edges just to define it more. But I want this to last me. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to take the, the gel. 
and I'm gonna take about that much and put it all through my hands. And I'm just gonna dab it like this and get it everywhere. And then I'm gonna go back in circles again. Back in circles again. And this is gonna really define it. Make sure you get the top. And don't worry about the white because it will dry. Trust me, it will dry. Um, your hair will not be white. It dries clear. And you got some really pretty coils, super pretty coils. Okay, I'm gonna go back and finger my edges. You got some really, really pretty coils, super pretty coils. And this is gonna last you all week. You can do this on a Monday and then it'll be there all week. And sometimes I might spray more water on the top right before I leave the house just to make sure that they look juicy, juicy, juicy curls. So now, now that the hair is looking the way I want it to look. Um, now that the hair is looking the way I want it to look, I'm gonna go ahead and start on my edges. I'm just gonna wipe that up. Okay, so I'm just gonna take some of the gel and just start working it around my edges. Just put it around the edges. And this, like, it reminds me of kind of like the 90s with the baby hairs, how I style it with the baby hairs. Just put some gel around your edges. It doesn't have to be perfect, just put it around the edges. And just put your, add your fingers to it and just, it doesn't have to be neat. You're just laying the foundation. You're just laying the edges because we're getting ready to style it in a few minutes. Okay. Okay. So now I'm just gonna take my brush and I'm brushing it down. I want some sideburns. You don't have to have sideburns if you don't want to, but I like sideburns. So I'm just styling it. I might take one like this and bring it forward. I might take it and swoop it this way. I like to swoop it different directions. And I don't like, I don't like from the baby hairs. Like sometimes like when you brush it, there's a separation. So what I do is I take my finger and I bring that hair down just to blend it. So this one, I'm gonna put it going this way. And then that, I'm gonna swoop that that way. Swoop that down. And then I'm gonna take it on this side. Swoop that down. I'm gonna bring this hair and I'm going to 
swoop it this way and then swoop that hair this way just in different swooping in different directions whatever you think looks cute i think different directions looks cute and this is also how i disguise that my edges are a little thin so i'm going to take my comb and swoop that this way and if you need more gel just add more gel to hold it you can do this however you want you can do it like that if you want I think I'm gonna bring this I think I'm gonna bring this like this yeah I like it like that better I like my edges to have a lot going on, especially with this curly hair. Definitely gotta make sure your edges are on point for sure. This is how it looks from the side. the other side and again this is going to dry clear but just to be on the safe side you can spray it with water you can spray it with water before you leave the house to ensure that it dries clear but it definitely will um, but make sure you do your edges make sure you shape your edges to your face um, I like the edges going down in just different directions um, you can bring it going back but I just like it this just I just feel like when you bring the edges down and mold it to your face, it shapes your face. And it makes it look really pretty. And you need some good gel that's going to hold your edges in place. You can do whatever. See, that's even cute if you want to do that. You can do whatever you want. Just make sure you do your edges and make them look cute. Your edges are so important because they really just shape the style. They change. They, it really makes the style. Let me take your comb. And see what I'm saying? That is so cute. That's super cute. Super, super cute. And pretty. And this is going to last you all week there we go so I just changed that so you know you can just change it however you want just do it in different directions change it however you want put some designs in there definitely put some designs in 
because that's what's going to make it look real cute. See what I'm saying? Just different, different designs, different shapes. You want to add dimension. You can do that on this side. Just different designs, you know? See? You can bring this up over here, however you want. Like, you know, it's up to you. And sometimes I play with it because I want it to look different. So this is about how I want it. Now, you can spray some oil sheen on this if you want to. I normally don't spray oil sheen on it because it doesn't look dry and crunchy. I usually just spray water on it right before I'm about to leave the house and just to make sure that everything dries beautifully. But this is how you style it. I'm gonna do my makeup really quick. I'm just gonna do some quick makeup and I'm gonna show you how it looks once it's um, semi-dry. And this is gonna last you. Super cute, right? Yes, again, thank you so much to um, Kelly Logan. You guys, I'm gonna leave her information in the description box. She has a YouTube channel, she has Instagram, she has her website, I'm gonna leave all of that on there. And I'm gonna order some more products from her, you guys. Order some products from her, black owned. The, the hair stuff that she has is really, really good. This is what the this is what the edge control looks like. And she just sent it to me. And that smells good. And it smells really, really good. Like, I get compliments. Every time I do my hair like this, I get so many compliments. So, I hope you guys enjoyed um, this little tutorial on how to style your hair. Um, if you're going to rock a short hairstyle, you guys, you got to rock it, okay? Rock it. You hear me? Rock that short style. Rock that short style. I don't have no perm, I don't have no relaxer, no texturizer, no nothing in my hair. This is just naturally my hair with water and these curling products, you guys. And if you don't have this, don't worry about it. There's plenty of curling products that you can use. Um, it doesn't even, it just, you can even use a leave-in conditioner. The technique is how we rub our hair to create those coils. So, I'll be back, you guys. I'm going to show you what it looks like once it's. It's dry and looking good, okay? I'll be right back. 